AITA for euthanizing my daughter's emotional support animal for her own sake? I'm not the oop. Original post on R, am I the asshole by a now deleted account. Mood spoiler. Sad for OOP's daughter. Oop still believes he is right. Less than. TW. Death of a beloved pet. Less than. Original post. Using a throwaway because I have family members on Reddit. My daughter recently turned 20. She's been dealing with major depressive disorder, social anxiety, anorexia, body dysmorphic disorder, and two autoimmune diseases since she was around 12. I'm very involved in her treatment and obviously wanted her to get better, so when her therapist recommended getting her a dog to register as an ESA, we got her one for her 16th birthday, named Juniper. I generally dislike animals, but it was for my daughter's sake, so I gave. Junie and my daughter grew close and I have seen a notable difference in her since we got the dog, especially in her sense of independence and self-esteem. Four years later, my daughter is now a part-time tutor, volunteers with the elderly, and attends school full-time with excellent grades. I'm so proud of how far she's come and though I realize she has a ways to go, Junie has helped her and I credit the dog for that immensely. Here's the problem. While my daughter was at school, Junie got out of the house and got hit by a car since we live right in front of a busy street. My wife and I rushed her into the vet and were told that Junie would need surgery, which would cost somewhere in the ballpark of $2,000. I make a good salary, but I just cannot justify spending that much on a dog, especially when it may not even work and Junie would probably be crippled. Plus, she was pushing 5 years old and her breed usually only lives for 9 to 10 years. Due to all these reasons, I decided the humane and logical decision would be to euthanize Junie. At this point I called my daughter to let her know the situation and the solution I'd chosen, and she freaked out on me. She tried telling me how she had $700 in savings and would quickly find a job to pay me back the rest, to which I declined because a, it's not just about the money and b, I don't want to risk ruining her mental health by her getting a job, especially since she'd likely have to quit one of her volunteer jobs which have helped her so much. I explained this to her, but she wasn't hearing reason. So I put my foot down and said my decision was final because the dog was technically mine since I paid for it. Then I hung up. We put Junie down surrounding her with love and gratitude. When we got home, my daughter had just pulled in and was hysterical. I told her she was too old to be acting like this and one part of becoming a competent, independent adult was accepting what life throws at you. Now she isn't speaking to me. I'm beginning to think I should have at least told her where we were so she could say goodbye. On the other hand, Junie already served her purpose in helping my daughter and she only had the dog for four years. So I don't understand the huge overreaction. AITA? First edit slash update. Edit, Jesus Christ. Message received, I guess I'm TA. I still believe I made the best choice, but I suppose I could have let her be more involved. Some people are asking the same questions so I'll answer them here. Backslash I am not a sociopath. I am just excellent at separating emotion and preference of logic, especially in times of crisis. This does not mean I don't feel anything. I love my daughter more than anything in the world. Backslash my wife was 100% on my side for the actual decision of putting Junie down and agreed our daughter should not witness it. She did, however disagree with the words and tone I used towards my daughter when we got home. Which is where I began wondering if I was the awe. I am not and have never been jealous of Junie. That's ridiculous. She was an emotional crutch for my daughter and will always be special to me in that way. My daughter did not love me any less after getting the dog. If anything she loved me more. Lastly, thought I would update you all that I did. In fact, Talk to my daughter today. It took her some time to let me in but once she did I was able to explain my side. Give her my reasonings for what I did. And convince her to forgive me. She agreed. And we are all moving past this ASAP. I'm actually about to run out and get her favorite fast food for dinner and we're having a family. Movie night. She is still acting distant and mopey but she has her regular therapist appointment tomorrow so I'm 
confident she can vent there and her therapist can help her get through this without any permanent damage. BTWI also offered to get her another dog, which wasn't easy for me. And she declined so I don't think her bond with the dog and like for animals in general was as unbreakable, and, solid, as all you commenters are claiming. Junie just wasn't meant to be around that long and I'm glad my daughter was able to have four years with a dog she liked. Now we're moving on. The end. Last edit. Edit 2. To everyone leaving horrendous messages to me in my DMs. Take a look at yourself and the words you're using against me. And consider how hypocritical it is that you're calling me the asshole when you're telling me you hope my daughter murders me. Relevant, popular comments. YTA. You likely ruined her mental state by killing her dog much more than a job would have. I'm amazed that you think what you did was okay. You basically killed her best friend. Also, five years is only half of her life. That's like saying someone is better off dying at 50 than trying to get a life-saving surgery. By you, curb stomp me. Honestly, I wonder if having a mom like this is part of the reason why this girl has so many problems how sad. Edit. I read it wrong. I know it's a horrible father who did this. By you, Bluebird3825. Comments by the oop. Retrieved by Untit. She may be technically an adult. But because of her various issues she is not of sound mind when it comes to decision making. Which is why I as her father made what I felt was the best decision for her. I reasoned that it would be more traumatic for her to watch Junie die and still believe it will be easier for her to get over this not having witnessed that. Her health, mental or otherwise, matter to me more than anything. How does me choosing her sanity over a dog mean she doesn't matter to me? If she got a job to pay it, she'd be stressed and potentially regress. And that's if the dog even lived. I didn't want my daughter to make such a hard decision and have the consequence lie on her shoulders forever. So I took that burden as her father. Grief is a process maybe she needs to go through sooner rather than later. And grieving a dog is good practice for someday having to cope with losing a parent. For example, plus, I understand she loved the dog and was close with her but placing a dog over family, or equal to, does not seem healthy to me. I've wondered in the past if perhaps it wasn't a good idea to get Junie for that reason. Perhaps I shouldn't have said the dog served its purpose that way. I didn't mean it negatively. Just that we only got Junie so my daughter could progress enough to get friends, a social circle, hobbies, and an interest in life again. That was accomplished. So, her purpose was fulfilled and I am thankful for Junie helping as she did. Also, I didn't snap at her. I explained my words carefully and calmly so as to not make her more hysterical. She gets panic attacks and I didn't want to trigger one. I d never yell. She is in therapy but for her own issues. Nothing I've done to her. Anything and everything I've ever done has been to help her. I'm her father and this was just one of those tough situations I needed to step into to protect her. Mental well-being. I never said she cannot have a job. I wouldn't force her to not get one. I just don't want her to get one on the pretext of owing me money. Volunteer work means less commitment if something goes wrong or she is struggling harder than usual. Besides, she doesn't even need a job. I provide everything she needs. I'd rather her focus on activities that can help her soul, not line her wallet. I am not a cheapskate when it comes to my daughter and her mental health. I have spent thousands on the best therapists and treatments for her over the years. I believed I was making the best of a bad situation. An injured old dog not having to face years of suffering. And I wanted to spare her having to see that or put that choice on her shoulders. She already is a gracious, empathetic, and loving adult. Just needs a little more time and care until she can be fully independent and make these hard choices herself.
She plans to be a NICU nurse and spends most of her free time volunteering. I think that's indicative of how she was raised. Reminder I'm not the oop. I just had your dog put down. Do you want a new one? No? Geez. Guess you don't like dogs that much in the first place. Waiting for the update. My daughter left home and won't talk to me for no reason. I just logically convinced my daughter to forgive me and we'll be moving past this ASAP. Dude, that's not how emotions work. That's not how people work. The ASAP just killed me. He follows saying how she still seems a little cold. Geez maybe cause she's understood you're a sociopath and has decided to give up on you? Mark my words. This daughter will go no contact. She's never forgiving her parents for this. The damage he has caused will undo everything they had gained through therapy and through poor Junie. I am just excellent at separating emotion in preference of logic. Especially in times of crisis. AKA I am an asshole and do not care if you disagree. I'm being logical. Read. Good. Smart. Correct. And you're being emotional. Read. Bad. Stupid. Wrong. Horrifying all around. He sees the dog as an inconvenient money drainer more than anything. An object instead of a being that you don't just possess. I paid for this dog so he's technically mine. Cannot fathom a bond more than just liking the dog. And who is stupid enough to think her saying no to getting another dog means she didn't bond with? Junie? It's the opposite. An overall is unfeeling and overall disconnected from emotional intelligence. What a sick man. Not even a goodbye for her beloved dog. I bet she never truly speaks to him again if she can get independence from him. Plus, she was pushing 5 years old. And her breed usually only lives for 9 to 10 years. FFS. My two previous dogs lived 10 and 11 years respectively and my current dog is 2.5. The fact that someone is even considering a 4-year-old dog to be old sickens me. It's nice when one of these comes along where everyone on the planet can simply calmly agree that this guy Suix. My favorite part is when he says she goes to therapy for her own issues, nothing I did. Hot beverage frog. I am not a sociopath. I am just excellent at separating emotion in preference of logic. That's, that's kinda what a sociopath is. Man. Another, logic is better than emotion. Man who is superior at putting aside emotion for logic. And everyone else around him who disagrees is just hysterical. Was it logical to destroy what was essentially his daughter's assistive medical device instead of even attempting to repair it? Was it logical to make the value judgment about how much life of the dog device you'd need to get out of the cost of repair for it to be worth it to you? Was it logical to make a decision on your adult daughter's behalf about her medical care and assistive devices without telling her and giving her no agency in the decision? The I can't stomach paying 2k on a dog is pure emotion. Logically, the family would look at their budget and decide using logic. My kid's dog was hit by a car. He didn't make it. I would have paid anything for them not to go through that. To have the dog make it to the vet and be told a surgery that is in theory affordable for op was possible and he was just nah. Peace out Junie. Absolutely callous. This is one of the worst posts I have read on here involving a dog. This dude is beyond an awful person he's so bad people should not trust him around babies. There is nothing to get forgiveness for what he has done. The poor dog with surgery would have been fine but he didn't want a disabled dog so he put her down. I hope the daughter and mother are aware if they are ever physically disabled he will leave them. I am not a sociopath. 
I am just excellent at separating emotion in preference of logic. Grief is a process maybe she needs to go through sooner rather than later. And grieving a dog is good practice for someday having to cope with losing a parent. Her dog needed to die so she can start practicing to grieve for the parent's deaths. I couldn't finish reading the father's words. What a monster. It's not even about the dog. The way he speaks about his daughter's mental state. Yikes. If she's struggling, it's likely because he's participating in her attempt at recovery. Her mental health means more to me than anything. Except $2,000. That's not even a really high vet bill. Solidly middle of the road surgery vet fee. Unbelievable. So cold. So unaware of how rare his line if thinking is. He can't see the huge crack he has made in his and his daughter's relationship. I bet she is choosing to forgive because she doesn't want to rock the boat. Never piss of your landlord. When he thought his daughter not wanting another dog was proof that they weren't very close I just. That proves that they were close. Wow what an asshole. If that were my dad I would feel so unendingly angry and betrayed. That was not his dog. And choosing this for her was absolutely a horrendous breach of trust he basically is calling his. Adult daughter stupid and unable to make her own decisions when the chips are down. I hope his daughter heals through therapy. And I hope that the dad rots. Wow what a patronizing asshole. I feel terrible for his daughter. I make a good salary. But I just cannot justify spending that much on a dog. What? Plus. She was pushing five years old. What? You don't even have to be a huge dog lover or respecter of service animals to hope that oop. And the wife who agreed with him. Steps on a Lego every day for the rest of his life. He said he didn't like animals and his cold evil self proved it. What an absolute monster. No wonder his kid has issues. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.